Good evening and welcome to another beer review. And the beer I'm doing now is, a, well I did a beer from the same boys last week and I thought well I do, that was a filtered beer and I thought I'd do an unfiltered beer from them. And it is from the Hacker thingamajig, Hacker, how do you pronounce that? I do not know, Hacker, Hacker Shaw, is that how you say it? Keller beer, there you go boys and girls. Super smashing great, it's unfiltered uh, beer, it's running in at 5.5% ABV, there's the back side, it's all in German, uh, is there anything in English on the back here which I can convey to you, it's imported beer, it's not giving you hop, hops, yeast, that's it, there's nothing kind of like um, nerdy about what's on the back there, there you go. But it's got a picture of a very nice fella with huge sideburns. It looks like huge sideburns. Um, cracking one open. So I would try to do the same what he's doing now, but I haven't got the sideburns. <laughs> so let's do the business on her. Hey, there she goes. Oh, loads of smoke there. Tons of smoke. Whew. Smells very grainy. Nice big dollop of wheat there. Corn even, maybe. Biscuity. Biscuity, so let's whack her in. So part of the Paulana group, like I explained last week. Um, very popular beer at Oktoberfest. So I'll give her a swell, like we do. See what little aromas we get from the glass. Bit of a caramel, slight hint of caramel there, a bit of toffee, bit of nougat, or nugget as I call it. Bit of grainness there. Slight hint of corn there. But she smells rather, rather nice. So, boys and girls, let's top her up like we do. And colour, carbonation and all that malarkey in the next instalment. So, as you can see, I'm making a bit of a muck up. Let's give her a swell. Get the old, get the old, you know, everything chucked in it. And there she is, cloudy unfiltered as you can see there cloudy unfiltered buzzing away carbonation just buzzing away there as you can see she looks rather nice so I'm gonna go in so cheers Very nice. Um, lovely biscuity edge to this. Wheaty grainness to it. A little bit of toffee. I'll say there's a little bit of toffee to it. But just like the Munich Gold I had last week from them, it's so drinkable. It is. You know, I haven't had a beer all week and this is my first beer. And I'll tell you what. God. Oh, it's doing the business, it really is. Going again. Hardly any bitterness. On the back end, it just leaves a nice biscuit in the mouth, you know. It leaves a nice little toffee note as well. But it, as ever, all the you know, all the notes, you know, if you got a palette if you got a certain palette and you like a beer which is kinda like you know subtle or have gentle notes, you know, not full on notes like a big IPA or anything like that. If you want a beer which you wanna drink a load of, well you can try to drink a load of this. And you don't really like the big 
notes in beer. This is a beer for you. Um, people who love wheat beers, this is the one to go for. Let's try this one because we've got any more of this left. Nah, that's a bummer. Am I in? Five minutes in. Lil, one more for the road. Now I'm thinking of pies now and sausages. Sausage rolls. It's making me think of sausage rolls. And on that score, boys and girls, hacker, whatever you want to call it, anybody in the comments, someone in Germany, tell me how you pronounce that. Thank you very much. Um, highly, highly recommend that. The old can of beer. Cracking. Thank you for watching this review. As always, you all stars. And I'll see you boys and girls on my next one. So cheers.